Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a double unboxing and this is from a brand from AliExpress called Soges or Soges, Soges, um, whichever way you like to call it. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that brand, but you may know Seastern, which is a brand that works with this, with Soges. Uh, they released a couple of watches relatively recently, I want to say. Um, a Doxa Sub 300 uh, homage and the uh, homage of the uh, 62 Mass. Really, really good watches. I'll leave, um, I have them reviewed on the channel. I'll leave a corner in the corner of the screen. I'll leave a couple of links for you guys to check those uh, videos out. But they make very, very good watches, so yes. And, and the reason why I have these two on for review today is because, well, for the unboxing first and then review if you stick around. Also, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss them. Is because they one of these watches features a movement that on the channel is advertised as 7750. Now, to my knowledge, that is a chronograph movement, and that is the uh, Value 7750. And I think in this case, this is probably a clone. I'm not sure, but I was really interested to have a look. And the second one is a GMT, and is similarly priced to the GMT um, that Kronos and San Martin provide. Now, I wanted to see if the build quality is as good and if they are really, really, um, they will provide some competition for uh, San Martin. Now, let's go into the box and see and have a look at these two watches. Also, by the way, I'm wearing today, I'm wearing my beautiful uh, Steinhardt uh, Ocean 39. Um, I'll leave again in the corner of the screen or somewhere in the link in the description. Uh, link to the unboxing stick around if you don't want to mix uh, the full review which is coming on the channel soon also by the way these watches i'm gonna talk while i unbox while i open these watches have been provided um by the um aliexpress aliexpress platform i don't have to return them so they have been provided for the purpose of this review so just keep that in mind as the uh video goes along Ooh, that is a big box Imagine if this was something else, but I think that's, that is it, because I'm waiting for a lot of watches. But imagine if this was a different watch and I just went talking about that, the two watches. Now, okay, put that away. Use the trusty knife here to open these. So again, so yes, they do. I'll put a link, obviously, again, into the description box. For the video to their website if you guys want to check them out they do a lot of variations of for the Seagull ST19 a lot of um, dial variations for that they think I think I they have new releases as well they have a, a um, oh a copper watch Ooh, I like that that actually looks quite nice so there's one two boxes there now let's get them out and I don't know which which is which, but I am curious to see. Now, this is a nice looking box. I had a Suggest before, but it didn't look like that. So as you can see here, Suggest and Seastern as well. That is the um, sister brand, I think, and C-Cores. Um, okay, now let's put one of these things aside and have a look. So cardboard, that actually looks really nice. Uh, how does this open? Yes, so like that. Now these are obviously homages to screwdrivers. Very good. So I'm taking. I'm thinking that is for the um, bracelet. And this is yes. So this is instructions. And this is the chronograph. So. This is, as you can see here, a homage of the Rolex Daytona, and I went for the um, black dial. And this, I just zoomed in on that. And I'm curious because I've never had a, an automatic chronograph watch with a, a chronograph, um, or an automatic movement with a chronograph function. I've only had the Seagull ST19, but, um, Again, that's mechanical, so hand winding. Now, I'm gonna probably speed this up in true, uh, oh, no, fashion. Oh yes, that looks actually very nice. Zoom in properly. Moving the camera. 
So Sugis automatic top chronometer. So this, the crown is out. Let's put some power into this. You can hear it wind. Oh, and the second hand at the uh, six o'clock position is ticking nicely. That is very nice. That is absolutely not gorgeous. Now, putting some power into this. Also, as you, I don't know if you can tell from the um, light here, automatically, I can see that it has a rubber gasket and the thread, screw down crown. Very nice, I like this. Again, you may sound, you may think that the um, Daytona is a, well, it's one of the, the most uh, homaged watches, but I personally don't care because I don't have that much money to spend on one and I actually like it. And especially if it has really good build quality, if Steinhardt can do it, so are other brands. Now, let's see if the chronograph, chronograph function uh, works properly. Now, that's, um, from what I can see here, the um, chronograph hand is aligned beautifully. Now, let me see. Yep, turns nicely. The hands, seconds hand stopped. Seconds hand started again. Now let me let's start the chronograph function. Yeah, it works amazingly. It ticks. That is gorgeous. I am pleasantly surprised. Can't see if there's any air coating on the um, uh, crystal there, but that's okay. Let's stop that. Snaps back. That is beautiful, guys. I'm actually impressed. So there you go. You don't need to spend a grand, at least, on a uh, value. Obviously, a different kind of movement, but, you know, what are you going to do? Bracelet, very nice. There's a lot of stickers on this. I'm not going to bother doing that now. And I think... There you go, and you have a on-the-fly adjust adjustment as well. Beautiful. So far, I am impressed. This is very nice. I'll put that back in, and let's check out the other one, guys. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, let's not waste any more time, because already seven minutes in the video, and I don't know how many people want to see that. Again, same cool-looking box. Open. Manual. Oh, and there it is. This is the GMT. Now, this features a Hangzhou GMT movement. I have this in the Mercure. And this is the. I went for the Pepsi bezel. Now this is a ceramic bezel insert and um, this is kind of hard to do. That's why it adds a lot on the price, but this looks great. Again, I was expecting the bezel to be a lot brighter, the red on the bezel to be a lot redder uh, on the insert. That's okay. That is absolutely fine. It also ticks. Wind this. So, so guess Perpetual Ocean Star. GMT divers 20 divers now I don't think that should be there because um, oh so this is oh it spins both ways there aren't no clicks I was expecting that to have some kind of noise for the um, for the bezel now it does it doesn't click though but it does turn so it's position based you, you can stop it in between but again there are no clicks which I'm not a big fan of um, straight off the bat there but that does look good and why doesn't it align properly I mean you can align it but you can also leave it like that or you can also leave it like that which again, not a big fan of. I'll have a, uh, I'll write him an email and let him know. But so far, this looks good. Date function works well. Um, 
hands. Now let me see if the GMT hand, um, yes, it does move independently. Well, that is very nice. But it's a pity about that bezel. Why does it not have any clicks? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's because I haven't had a proper GMT before and that's how it should be, but uh, I seriously doubt it. Anyway, um, same bracelet. Looks really good quality-wise. I'm curious to see the looms on looms, the loom on these two watches, and um, how good they are. But um, yeah, guys, let me just put these away and show them to you side by side how they look like. There are no. Um, oh, they put the screwdrivers in um, both screwdrivers in uh, one ba bag. One bag box. There you go, guys. So let me just put the camera to focus on, focus on these so you can see them side by side how they look like yeah so uh, that was it guys that was the unboxing for the uh, two Suggest watches I have to say I'm more impressed about this than I am about this but um, stick around because the um, full review for these two will uh, come on the channel uh, very 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 soon uh, thank you very much for tuning in guys um, click like subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss um, any future videos and I will see you guys in the um, see you guys in the next one bye